So what does it mean for organisations and indeed society if people can't say what they really think when they're sitting around the boardroom table? If they're more concerned about what the boss thinks, about being right, about impressing people, about saying the first things that comes into their mind because they're concerned that they're going to be interrupted. What's happening here is that we're starting to get groupthink, a problem that really plagues organisations and has led to so many of the corporate crises that we see today. And the challenge is that doing what everyone else does, thinking what everyone else thinks, yes, it keeps us safe and maintains the status quo, but there's a huge cost for ourselves, the organisation and society at large. We get narrow short-term thinking, a focus on outputs, not outcomes, conformance, not performance, and catastrophic corporate failure as the need to keep one's head down and deny our truest values overwhelms the need to do what is right. And of course, as I said earlier, it's not just in corporations we see this, it's at the heart of government. For people to think well for themselves, the people around them need to behave in certain ways and the thinking environment has identified and articulated these. And these are the 10 components or behaviours that lie at the heart of Nancy Klein's thinking environment approach. Introducing a few of these components into groups and meetings will have a huge effect on the quality of the thinking. And arranging all interactions as thinking environments has the potential to be truly transformational and ignite the 21st century thinking that the world requires.